got lots of room now, thank God. Now we'll get the Mustang in. You know, the Shazam app looks the same as the GoPro app on my phone. I don't know why. So I always hit that first by accident. Okay, so today um, I'm installing these tire stickers on my uh, Mustang here. Where are they from? Hold on. I believe tirestickers.com, but I'll confirm that. Um, I've heard decent things about them. So first thing we gotta do is get the back wheels off because I'm taking the wheels off to do this just so I don't mess up. Too bad at least. So let's get going. Realized I should put my crappy shoes on right now. Didn't even think about it. Usually I do forget and I ruin my white pair of Vans most of the time. Special edition. I didn't even know these were special edition. That's what it says on the cap. Who would have thought? Okay, let's finish raising this thing. Now we just gotta get the wheel off. Okay, so after you've got the wheel off like this, um, we need to clean the wheel itself, the wheel itself, and the uh, and the tire. We're gonna do that right now. Minimum temperature needs to be 65 degrees out. Um, I really don't think that matters. I would do it in 20 degree weather, but we're good for right now because it's I think it's about it's about 80 in the garage right now. Oh, it's 80. That's pretty warm for um, what is it? April. First thing we gotta do. Uh, we need to clean the tire with brake clean. Brake clean or it says acetone. This is just to get all the brake dust off. Brake dust, um, road grime, any grease, oils that might be on the tire or the tire surface. So we need to wipe that down so the adhesive for the stickers can actually stick to the tire. We also need to clean the letters also, the back side of them, before we uh, stick them on. Right now I'm just going to clean the tire off and get it ready for the stickers. Woo. This stuff is expensive and I want to keep it. Also be sure to um, note, um, if you know for a fact where you are going to put the stickers, I would, so I'm going to put mine here and probably about here. Um, just make sure you get that surface really well. I mean, cleaning the rest of the tire really doesn't matter because you're not sticking them anywhere else. But um, just be aware of that. Now I've got the stickers right here. So you can see them like that. They come on a template. Um, I was kind of disappointed because some of these were kind of falling off when I got them, which was kind of disappointing. But other than that, they're made out of rubber, which is kind of nice. And they do provide everything to stick them on, which is just adhesive. It's really like strong glue, I'm, ass I'm assuming. So not too bad, but I think it could have been, the quality could have been a little bit better shipping wise and stuff because some of the letters did fall off the templates here. I think I have this letter I and this R is starting to come off. So I just lined them back up as best I could and hopefully it looks okay, but that's the only drawback I've seen so far. So now that you got the letters, um, you want to clean the back side of these right now because there is dirt and stuff on them and you want a clean surface on both sides when you are sticking these on the tire so they will stick. So next I'm going to apply the adhesive that they gave, that they provided. Um, honestly, it just looks like super glue. But um, they recommend doing like three to four letters at a time. Um, the letters I'm putting on have 10, so I think I'm just going to do the first five at a time lay it down, put some pressure, and then apply the last half and put some pressure. All we have to do for the, from the instru per the instructions is apply the adhesive to each letter. Might have did a little much on this first one. We're going to very carefully line it up and stick the first half on. Uh, the R fell. You can see it right there. It fell off. That's nice. Whatever, I didn't glue that down yet. And the O just came off. That's great. Why is it? This is what I'm talking about. I don't know why this stuff falls off the template. And it shouldn't. Come on, dude, you're good the rest of the time. Every single time, dude. It just 
pops off. Okay, well here's the R down here, which got on the ground. Come in here with the rest of them. And supposedly it's just that easy. I don't think, honestly, it's going to look that great now. Because I think I did a really crappy job about installing this. They say you're supposed to like push each letter down so much for like so many seconds. Um, but I don't know if these are going to stick very well to be honest. I'm just hoping for the best right now. Because I don't think I installed that well at all. Granted this is my first tire. But I don't think that went well at all. Let's just try to peel it. Ooh, that H is not sticking very well, is it? Eh. Doesn't look that bad. I could definitely go a little, little wider on the glue, though. Okay, so that's one side down. Is it perfect? Not really. But... I don't know if I could have, I don't know if I could have did it any better. It's not perfect at all. It's way higher up here than it is over here. That's okay, whatever. We'll just try to do better on the next one. So a little update. I got both rear tires back on. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good, but I don't know. Is it perfect? No, but for what I want it for, I think I think it looks decent. Hopefully you guys can see this and I'm not too close. I can't tell, I don't have a screen on this thing. But it's not perfect, like right here is like kind of messy and crap, but it's on there, it's not going anywhere. Um, if you do hit a curb, you're probably toast, like for sure. These things will probably rip right off, but it's purely an aesthetic thing. I just wanted that white letter look like the like older muscle cars have. Is it worth like the 120 bucks that I paid for it? Probably not. Kind of disappointed, but I think all in all from afar, from a far away, like I think it looks pretty cool. You guys saw me put it on. I'm only gonna show one of those because it is very, very tedious. I've been at it for like about an hour and a half, maybe. I've been taking my time. This th this last wheel, the second one right here, um, I did. I I think I did a lot better on. I think it looks better than the other one. Now, tell me what you guys think. I'm gonna do the fronts right now. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys a little update right now. Um, I'll get the other two on. And then I'll pull the car out into the sunlight and I'll show you guys again. And I'll give you like a little walk around. But it's not its not too bad of a product. I think they could they can improve it a little bit more. But if you just want the look, yeah, I'd say it's worth it. They do have a, they do have a semi-permanent one that's like, like, so if you like take your car to car shows and stuff, it's literally just a sticker that goes on. These are actually glued on like pieces of rubber. So look into that as well. I'll put their... Um, I'll put the link to their website in the description below, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, a little bit of an update. Um, I'm on the last tire. Um, I've got the other... Actually, this has, got, this has gotten progressively better as I've gone along with it, which um, I kind of expected, so it's getting easier. I'm getting better at it. The last uh, two tires I did are actually, they actually turned out really good, I think. Um, but I'm on the last one. This is the last half of this tire. I've already done this half. That's drying still. So I figured I'd at least show my improvement of this. So let's get to it. 
I'll probably speed this up, more than likely. Oh, and I found a sit on sit on the tire um, works a lot better than trying to do it from the side because at least this, like you have it in front of you and you're centered on like wherever you want to put it. So um, if you do buy these, um, I'd recommend actually sitting on the wheel and applying it. it makes it a lot easier. I usually do this half of the logo and that half to make it a little bit easier. Oh, my battery's dying. I hope this lasts that long. Oh, shit. Girlfriend's texting me. I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to text her back later, so that's okay. She's at Disneyland. She won't care. Now we take this, line it up where we want it, about there, and apply some pressure. Now, you want to apply evenish pressure. I mean, I like to go one letter at a time while I'm doing this. Just a little bit of pressure, then move to the next one. But pretty much doing this um, requires a lot of patience, which I really don't have. Honestly, if you take your time with this, it actually comes out pretty good. Not perfect. Not perfect, but pretty good. It's where you'll look cool, which is all that matters. Also, it does help if you find um, an area in your tire that has no lettering on it or anything. Um, my tire, I just found the spot that had the least amount, or like, I, cause I still am going over like some letters and stuff. That's okay, it still sticks on pretty well. But I have that, this tire, I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe I can show it. Nope, shit, the other way. There it is. This tire over here is already done. That's the passenger side. That's the passenger side um, front. God, I can't think today. So now, I'm gonna peel this off, and this is all it is. All you do, so like, after it's glued down and pretty much dry, all you do is peel away the template slowly like that. Just like that. And then this is where you check to see if you have any spots that are lifting, like the edges. Some of these some of these edges lift a little bit, like I have one under this eye. Um, there is excess glue marks. Um, they say you can avoid those if you don't put much glue, but I don't want these things coming off. And honestly, I don't care that much because the wheels are gonna be spinning. Next thing you guys see, I'll get these on the car and then I'll pull it out for you in the sunlight and I'll walk around it so you can get a decent look of what they look like on the car. I think it breaks up the black car and the black tire really well. I think it just looks good. So let me know what you guys think. And that's it. So that's what it looks like out in the sunlight or partial sunlight. It's actually kind of cloudy out today. But I mean, from far away, it's the passenger side. We go to the driver's side. That's the worst one right there. This was the first one and it's the worst. But from far away, you can't tell. So let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I know it's been a while since I've posted anything, but I'm trying to be more consistent. I'm on spring break right now from school, so I need to film something. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.